after gaining prominence with money, first sermon, second sermon, Koku the Traveler, and then Soldier, Black Sheriff has released his debut album, The Villain I Never Was. And so we are seated to have a conversation on that. I am Benefo Wabin Abrantipa, and this is eForum on Ghana Web TV. Thanks for joining us and uh, joining me on this episode. I have Wei Yotin. Wei Yotin is a music producer, a sound engineer, very renowned and revered personality in the arts and entertainment industry. Yotin, welcome. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the first time I heard, I heard of his name, I thought he was, I didn't know it was, it was, um, uh, it was coined from your real name, oh. DJ Ashman. They don't have our non Ashman. Thanks for joining us. And then he's a, a fan of Black Sheriff and the, the host of Friday debates or sports debates on Ghana Web TV. Joel Ishan. Thanks for joining us. One person I admire most in the industry. Uh, it's the second time I've met him. The first time we met at Kwesi Athens album launch and listening. Maybe a few other kushu ni amano. Aha. No, to me a few other di befa me ni mno odi kofa onu se ni mno. Who say yeah? Olele Savado. Sally, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, only you know, yeah, Richard Kinson, the NBA, what, what, what yeah, you're Yeah, I used to, is that, I used to actually I mean? keep in school. Okay. That was how I actually got it, because I'm, I'm a goalkeeper mm. in school, so. And, okay. Well, they thought I was not good enough to be called. Mm, 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 mm. But now I keep um, with the culture. Okay. That's, the, that's, <laughs> that's nice. Welcome, yeah. gentlemen, Thank you. to the studio. So, uh, let's begin the conversation quickly. Um, what would be your initial comments on the Black Sheriff album? What's it? I think um, Black Sheriff, Black Sheriff, a great guy, um, a newbie who is trying to carve a niche for himself. Mm. Um, I always say his first album is his 20 years life being put together. So this is a test line for him to like showcase and exhibit what he has experienced over the years. And I call this his personal album because um, everything is about him. Yeah, everything is about him. He spoke about himself from A to Z. His experiences, what he's gone through, his feeling, you know, um, um, what he possessed, mm -hmm. the energy, the feeling, everything, you know, is, is all about him. So um, I would say this is the Black Sharif album, something for himself. But um, I also believe that everybody who has similar situations can also relate. If you feel you're blessed, if you feel there's an anointing on you, there's an oil on you, you can relate. Mm. If you feel you've lost somebody, you can relate. If you feel um, 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 snitches shouldn't come around you, you can relate. Wherever you find yourself, if you want to be part of that album based on your experience, if you share you know, something together, I believe you can also um, relate. So this is an album for him, mm. but we as a people, I mean, it's something made for the industry. So we we'll always see where we also can relate, enjoy, and push, I mean, um, 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 a young visionary to become a household name. Because mm. obviously, the music industry in Ghana need more at the top than just one top. So Let, let's, let's settle on the concept of the album and then the um, artwork, the cover art. Um, is it what you expected, or you think it, it could be better? Le, le, let me ask Olili on this. Um, <coughs> thank you. Um, so for me, pretty much, um, we've seen the kind of person Black Sheriff is. Uh, if you see the kind of pictures he takes and the kind of fashion he's in, you know, um, involved in, mm -hmm. yeah, a bit quirky, um, not too conventional. Many have argued that if it was Kwame Eugene who was dressed in that way, <laughs> it would be chaos in mm -hmm. the space but i think it's it's not really loud out there because black sheriff has been able to own that kind of style mm -hmm. so it fits him it suits him and the kind of music he's done lets you know that he's a misfit 
right from the onset, you know that this guy is not here to be a part of where we want to put him. He wants to set his own pace and run his own race. And so I wasn't too surprised when I saw promotional pictures that led to the final, the final artwork. And if you look at the artwork, <coughs> it looks like, um, I don't know how to explain this in the, um, I, I can't find the words to explain it, but I think it's, it's more of um, an artist that feels like he's lonely you know, even though he's achieving all those things that he's been able to achieve. Mm -hmm. is, and you look at the reverence and <coughs> lighting of the artwork, it's like um, there's so much noise, there's so much, you know, um, pandemonium out there. People are literally cheering on and everything. But within himself, when the lights go dim, it's just him alone as Koko Frimpong in there. And this is the same Koko Frimpong that has been chastised, lambasted, you know, all sort of things have been said about him. And to go with the album title, The Villain I, I Never Was, matches that kind of um, art direction mm. they were able to achieve with the artwork. But for me, if you ask me, I know that there's a lot of people who like to focus on the artwork. I feel like the artwork is just supposed to add to the aesthetics of your project or your album. But for me, what I, I was looking forward to is the content of the project. Mm -hmm. And I don't really like to place a lot of emphasis on the fact that because you can have a great artwork and the quality or the content is nothing to talk about. Mm. So I, I just sit down and I look at the artwork as though he had a good team that sat down together. I'm sure um, David Nicose and the rest of the team at Park Studios um, were all part of the direction. And they were able to bring out that kind of artistic side of Black Sheriff. So um, all things being equal, um, unless the, the, the art directors come and tell us why they shot the way, because you don't want to misinterpret. Mm -hmm. You know, you can only guess, but you can't really misinterpret what the art director is responsible for the direction, you know, um, mm. in terms of the album art. Mm. Ashman, you agree with that? Oh, yeah. To a larger extent, I agree. Uh, you know, Black Sheriff, uh, from the first uh, single that he drops, the attitude he came with. Mm -hmm. We all use a guitar and a knife and how much I think and everybody was talking about it but all of a sudden like I said he became calm, trying to send a certain message across. So for the artwork and all that I I, I agree with that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. The songs on the album mm -hmm. which I mean, he has said that it's the, 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 the album is his autobiography. Yeah. Which of the songs would you say um, you gravitate towards the most? Well, the Konongu Zongu song. Okay. Yeah, I like Konong, Konongu Zongu. You know, I see this Black Sheriff album like Ralph Was by Muka. Mm. You know, when Pai Muka came, that's 99. Uh, the youth then, you know, we all jumped to the song. Though it was in the club banger where we were playing it in the club. Bang, bang, dope. Yanum was there. Mm -hmm. But most of the songs were like in the car music. Mm -hmm. And you just nod your, song, your head to the sound. This album have the same feel. If you check some, most of the songs, mm -hmm. from the beats, though the beat is not the same, but you find similarities in the songs. And the message is trying to send across. Mm -hmm. I know about Force Manager is here. Yeah. Maybe you will not when you mention it, I, I, yeah. I was about to say, <laughs> Obra Force Manager, Manager is here, but, but I'm didn't want taking to my mind back to 22 mm -hmm. years, 23 years ago when Yanum came out. Mm -hmm. The feel. Some people were like, ah, Obra for a new baby. What was this? It took time we understood what Obra for was trying to send across. The message is where he's tackling, like, the situation on the ground and about himself mm. on that album. So with this Black Sheriff album, yo, myself, I feel like that's how I see it. Mm. I like Konongu Zongo and the reggae song on the album. Basically, I like two songs on the album, apart from the one with Burner Boy. Mm. But the reggae, and I forgot the title, but Konongu Zongo. Mm -hmm. Yo, I go for Konongu Zongo. The reggae could be either Toxic City or Spotify. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I like those stuff. two. Yeah, those two. Par yeah. Oh, Paradise is not bad. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so so, don't forget me. Mm, don't forget yeah, me. Yeah, but Toxic yeah. City also has, also has, has a, a bit um, of a. That uh, song was put, he said that song was produced in the UK. Mm. But then that would be by London. Oh, yeah. London. Yeah. Okay. By London. Toxic also has yeah. this um, island 
you know, Jamaican touch. Mm. When you listen to Toxic City, the way he sings, he sings on it. Mm. And, and that's why I feel like, like um, um, Oten said, it is an album that gives us the opportunity to appreciate Black Sheriff as an artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I heard him on an interview with Apple Music where he says that the reason why he decided not to, not to feature, feature anybody anyone was because this is his first project. Mm -hmm. He wants you to know him better. He yeah. wants you to know that when you put me in a genre, moving forward, so in the future, if anybody, because we see um, Bernard Boy doing um, songs with the Assurance, we see Bernard Boy doing songs with Madonna mm -hmm. and their likes. I'm thinking, okay, this, this is Black Sherry's thoughts, that once upon a time, a big artist could come from anywhere in the world and say, I want to do a song with this guy because I've heard him do a song like this. Mm -hmm. Kid is blessed with Mavado. He tells us on, on the Twitter space that on his album, the Golden Boy album, I've forgotten the name of the song. It was, it was, a, reggae, it was a reggae song. Mm -hmm. Mavado heard that reggae song on that album and then reached out that he wants to do a song mm -hmm. with him. With him. Mm -hmm. So when an artist thinks like this with his first project, it gives you an idea of the journey he's on. Many people, like uh, Ashmin said, um, I was in, I was in the nineties. I wasn't around when Pamuka came, so uh, I mean, obviously we grew to listen to Pamuka. I, I, I wasn't around when Pamuka came, so I, I won't be able to tell you what the energies were mm. like. But for Black Sharif, the reactions are mixed. Some say, "Oh, I'm already." I call one, 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 shut down, yard yet. A Black Sharif is not giving us a Black Sharif we know him from mm. first and second mm. sermon, mm. you know. But interestingly, after a few days. People are now coming back yes. to say, ah, you know what? The songs are, the the songs songs are actually are good. good. Yeah. <laughs> you get, because mm -hmm. there are 14 songs. You mm -hmm. can't obviously like every, every yeah. song on the album. Yeah. You know, but at every point in time, and like DJ, DJ Asmini said, when you are driving and you put the album on shuffle, mm -hmm. the kind of songs that, I don't know whether it's an algorithm thing, I don't know, but the kind of songs that play, it gives you the opportunity to reflect. Because everybody may have lost a loved one. Mm -hmm. Everybody things like he, they, they are the, they are the prodigal son, mm -hmm. you know, everybody sings that they are the breadwinner, they need to. So every, there's a song in there for everybody. Mm -hmm. And that is what I want to big up the team for, for selecting the songs. I'm not too sure if the 14 songs were just the 14 songs, I'm sure there were other songs, but yeah. the team responsible for selecting the songs to help shape the image of Black Sherry for his first album, it's a big plus. In, in his interview with NYDJ, he mentioned that um, O Paradiso was actually a song that the, there was contention over to as choose. to whether or not mm. it has to be mm. part of the album. Mm. Uh, but uh, um, Otin, is it his uh, reason for not featuring any artists on his maiden album? He has uh, Renner Boy on, 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 on... No, I mean, apart from... Apart, apart from, from uh, so just say apart from <laughs> so apart from Benna, yeah, um, and that was actually a remix. So it still doesn't matter. It's on the album. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, you 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 think it's it's a good one uh, that every artist who at a point or at the initial stage of their career gains prominence needs to imitate. Okay. So there are twists to this. Mm -hmm. First of all. You need to know who you are. You need to know your backing to take certain decisions. If you are personally investing in yourself, my brother, you don't take chances. Whatever chance Black Sheriff took, he took that chance knowing the kind of backing he has and he knows it's not going to hurt him. Mm. You understand? But if you... And your friend, your brother, <laughs> some man who believed in you, some man your sister went to speak to, to come and invest in you, you realize that you do not have room to even make the slightest mistake. Mm -hmm. So you would go all out to make sure that you tap in every aspect of the industry or into a certain audience to make sure that you are well vested and grounded and that hit is certain. Black Sharif has had a certain direction over the years. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a difference in lyrics and beats. They come together to make that music. So now let me take you back a little to tell you Black Sharif. He started with something which was trap. Mm -hmm. At that moment, 
trap beat was the ish. So lyrically, I do not care. Mm. Once it's something that is on trends, as soon as it steps in, it's part of the pack so I enjoy. Mm. Now, Black Sheriff comes in as part of the pack, but what does he do? He does not move on the path the boys are moving. He starts off on a trap with high life melodies. Mm. Now, as a people, these are the choice of melodies and pitches that we grew on. Mm. So naturally, when you hear high life melodies, irrespective of who you are, you feel connected to it so quick and you would want to listen again. He even called it Trap High Life at some point. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so you see, the High Life melody that he dropped on that trap made that magic for him. Just like Reggie dropped Hip Life, you know, on, on, on a mixture of hip hop, hip -hop. and, you um, know, drop something on it. It was still a bit of alien to the people. Now, Obrafo came in with those same choice of beats, dropped typical chi with proverbs on it, and everybody felt like, ah, we all go feed do one. Mm. Why? Because we are listening to something we can relate to that we can also do. Mm. So automatically, the hit is assured. And that made him stand out from the lot like the Amarados and all those guys. Because the choice of melodies. Mm. I once said this at TV3 that Black Sharif, if he is to stay true to his native by maintaining the choice of high life melodies he plays on the kind of beat he gets, he is going to be unbeatable. Mm. Because that is what identity. Mm -hmm. Why do we see Burner Boy like the, the, the thing? Because he has a certain identity. But when you are backed by a label, now it's not just about you or what you feel you can do, do yeah. but it's about what the label believe they can sell to the world. So if you listen to his previous songs that made him, on this album, there was... Nothing like yeah. that. Yeah. So even if you go online, Black Sheriff is being identified as an R&B hip-hop artist. Mm. And that is the level or the trend that his record label is trying to tilt him towards. Mm. That's their money. That's, 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 that's their that's, problem. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what they want I mean, at the end of the day. So, DJ, he said he's doing high life, like his foundation is... His high life and that is what I'm saying it. that his first albums every every music there are two things that identifies music okay the melodies you put on mm -hmm. and the instrumentation you also add to the melodies mm. lyrics does not matter okay lyrics is being interpreted by the choice of melodies that is the reason why when Benny Man writes on a certain beat you might think that, oh, he's doing reggae, or he's doing dancehall, mm -hmm. or he's doing R&B, and you understand. Yeah, yeah. So he started with something, which we all fell in love with. Because trust me, it, we didn't love Black Sharif because he was one Konongo boy who just came yeah. and... Yeah. and <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. We loved him because he was giving us something that, Charlie, yeah. the ear has been missing for so long. Mm -hmm. It's a very unique sound. Very unique sound. Check out the pitch. I mean, lovely enough, there wasn't too much of an auto tune, so mm -hmm, we could mm -hmm, feel mm -hmm, the personality, mm -hmm. the voice, and everything on the beat, mm -hmm. and it was wow. Yeah, yeah. So even on his um, um, on this new um, um, album that he had, the old paradise. You know why it's catching up with people so much? The song that he sang for the girlfriend the girl, yeah. is because of the choice of melodies. melodies. The lyrics is there, all right, but the choice of melody, sometimes when you have the right choice of melodies that relate to the people and you have an instrumentation which backs the mood at which you want to express mm -hmm. those melodies mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. naturally, the system mm -hmm. relates to where yeah, it is. Internet will be once. You move away. 
you will be somewhere and all of a sudden you are yes, humming to that yeah. view and you ask yeah. yourself, ah, I need to look for this song. And you start humming to people that yeah. you want to find. Mm -hmm. It's Melody. because within your DNA, that thing is there. Okay. Yeah. So Black Sharif had that one on, on the song that he did for, for, for Old Paradise, which was meant for the girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. And now, Charlie, it's even scary because anytime something happens to somebody on TikTok and all, you know, even funerals, yeah, yeah, that shooting, is the... Mm -hmm. They are shooting mm -hmm. TikTok challenge. TikTok challenge like videos with there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Joe, so have you seen any of them? Yeah. They're shooting uh, seen as Asantua. Yeah, I've, yeah. yeah. uh, I've seen Asantua. I've seen a uh, couple, like five. Mm. Yeah, but, but me, I think that that song is the my best on the album okay because i like those kind of songs that you dedicated to your loved one so all the artists are like in ghana my greatest song is uh, the one that Iluma did for uh, his ex-girlfriend in secondary school mm. you go abroad i like the one to pack date for his mother mm. Mm. and then this i don't know if you can get the the one who sang uh, i drop it on my for his brother's, yeah. his yeah. brother's wife. Mm -hmm. I like those kind of songs so, because it tells you, it tells you something like. Do you have a Like, do you have a No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It's, it, it's not all of them that is basically uh, maybe your loved one mm. or something. Just a quick one. Do you like it because of the storytelling? Yeah, I, I, I like it. Because see, of the dedication. Uh, see, he spoke about the beat. Mm. The, uh, the for, for the old mm. parties, mm. the beat because that was the first song I listened you on listen the album because okay. I think I was in a car mm. and somebody was playing before mm. I got to the office. Okay. So that was the first song uh, listen I listened to. when I uh, yeah. put on my machine. Mm. But I also like dedicate, like being appreciative, mm. whatever the person did yeah, for you. Mm. So mm. that's why I mentioned Tupac, mm. the Mama, mm. Amachi, yeah. uh, Daddy Lumba, yeah. mm. Teresa. Yeah. I like those guys. And then if you've uh, lost anybody in your life, sometimes you sit back. Maybe somebody uh, you promise. For me, when I listen to the song, it's my grandma. Mm. So because of maybe the things I promised to do for her, but I didn't She's even no finish more. secondary school. And then she passed. Yeah, she passed. Mm. So well, when you have those connections, and then for Sheriff, uh, there is a guy in our office who, when the album first goes, uh, normal like tag, the wheel for you, so so like I think you all that. Well, all that I think on Monday, yeah. yeah. on Monday, <laughs> this guy came to the office and then he was singing. Eh? He was singing. On his own, was he really? Like, ah, he said, "I want to join you for that." He said, "Nah, like he listened to yeah. just one song mm. and then." It's like yeah, yeah. yeah the album. Yeah, needs something needs to this something needs to motivate you. When yeah. when it comes to album, something needs to motivate you. Yeah. At a point, looking at where me I'm coming from, right. at a point I find the album a bit dissatisfying to the public mm. because there was at a point that the vocal issues. words was yeah, getting a bit over the place. Over, yeah. overboard, mm -hmm. yeah. and I asked myself. With a record label like Empire, that's a shame because why? When you are attached to a record label, most songs comes in two, especially if you have clean, words yeah. that are not yeah, clean. Yeah. You know, to, to, to the extent of going the P, uh, U, what, what, yeah. and, and uh, SH, what, yeah. what. I think I, I, it was getting too much. Yeah. And these things needs to be controlled. It's a new generation, new school. This is what we like and all that. He says he's, but, he's, he's um, unfiltered. He says it's at, as it is. <laughs> you see, as much as you you, you want to unfilter mm. something, mm. know which people you're sending that to. So would it have been okay for you if he had released the edited versions. versions? And then it's been give done this one to the now all over the world. Yeah, it's I been done. Know. I want to believe there's a clean version. It's uh, been uh, done. Uh, but, but, so. but I also think that with if time, if it's, it will if change. It's, if, it's, if it's a clean version, if there is a clean version, I mean... Where when you go streaming the album, mm. you should find the thing that's one, that's yeah. one thing. DJ Ghanian, uh -huh. That's one thing Ghanaian musician mm -hmm. or Ghana music is lacking. You know when you put your songs on the uh, DSPs, you can put your clean versions mm -hmm. and your raw versions, mm. and you have two streams. Okay. Sometimes you have child lock on your phone. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to listen to some songs. The clean ones can even that be directed to them. Mm. No, it's just like YouTube. Sometimes when you go and you want to open something, they say confirm if you're 18. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it can be 
directed to them. But here is the case. Even most of our big artists before Black Sheriff have this issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, 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 but let's be very honest. Black took it to a, 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 a notch higher. <laughs> to just mention that P U what what yo mm. that is extreme. Imagine if you have a child right, in the, the big brother doing more. <laughs> you see, I, I, we I, we keep attributing <laughs> stuff to somebody did this. Mm. Some, yeah. It takes one person to change to change, to, to change a whole narrative. So, and you know the beauty of these things. At a point, um, um, high life wasn't too popular mm. in our own place mm, yeah, where mm, we are mm, trying mm, to mm. find a gender for ourselves. Yes. <laughs> Guess what? A lot of people were also trying to do it. Mm. R2Bs did it, mm. and her life gained. Yeah. Mm. It went down again, uh, and then Stoneboy did it, and then it get. Do you know what that means? It means if we really had a structure, and we are to put a certain people together, and tell ourselves that, now this is the narrative, and this is what we're selling yeah, to the world, so we will make that impact. It's an agenda, like exactly. So you see, it's not about somebody is doing. So black is doing, and it's oh, fine. I understand. You can have a yeah. beautiful album and mm. everything, but just one thing can discourage so many people yeah. from I, following yeah. that yeah. dream. Yeah. And that. our part of the world, Charlie, as much as we're thinking whatever we're thinking, we still have culture. We still have values. Right. It will yeah. never leave us. You know, you know what I think, though. I th just just to buttress what you're saying. I think it's how Black Sheriff entered the system. Because he has a song like Money. When you listen to Money and you look at Black Sheriff today, th there is no relationship whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But when you look at Black Sheriff and listen to sec First Sermon, Second Sermon, there is this image of a, a radical yeah. boy. Yeah. You yeah. Even I'm, have, not, you I'm, know, I'm not going... And he said it in, I, I think, uh, Fortify that I'm not doing what they wanted me to exactly. do. Exactly. Mm. So, so, so I feel I, like... I, I, I understand perfectly. It's not about doing what people want you to do. It's about doing what you want to do. And that's because at the end of the day, you are doing something, but unfortunately, yeah. not for yourself, but for the people who mm. has developed so, loving you. So, so we need a clean and the talking about wait, clean version. But yeah. at the end of the day, it's, even no matter what you're doing for yourself, if our censorship boards were working, just like the so creator and all that, mm -hmm. I review movies before mm -hmm. it comes out, mm -hmm. do you think stuff like this will come out? on just the raw version, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. You okay. would have censored it first, yeah. and then have the explicit... Mm. Uh, I mean, I mean the you know, the, you know, the, you know the clean version, yeah? Mm -hmm. This song, Alcohol, the hard night, you know, yeah. 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 When they sent the DJ's copy, there was no alcohol in that song. Mm. Yeah. And I met one of the managers, and I was asking him, Charlie, what's up? He said they won't make them play them a song for their Arab countries. Mm. Mm. Okay. Area codes okay. by, by, yeah. by, 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 by Ludacris. Yeah. Yeah. Codes. I mean, you yeah, know, yeah. it was it was it was for uh, Russia. Uh, mm. Even that song, mm, mm, because it was talking about TDs mm, and yeah, all those yeah, things. Yeah. We have a version that there are screams. This, that, that. Some and kind of have, fancy things have to kind of like black those things like out. franchise pools where we download clean songs mm -hmm. from. Mm. And if you you put your songs there, recently I've seen most Ghanaian songs mm, mm, there, mm, and they are not clean. Wow. Yeah. So that means you, you as as a DJ mm. or as DJs would mm. have to go through the painstaking process. Yes, of yeah. I have a friend. I have a friend at YFM DJ. But like it's, it's not up to the DJ. That's what I'm saying. So we like need to have a censorship board that yeah. says that we are not saying don't do this mm. because there are people who are above the threshold of eighteen and are ready to consume anything. Mm -hmm. Just like we say alcohol. Why do we say alcohol shouldn't be promoted during yeah. daytime? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. We know a certain target are available yeah. and are vulnerable to watch these things, mm. and we don't know what they might copy. Okay. Even that Nicaraguan is half half. Whether they copy or not to oh, copy, mm. they said, do not. I think I'm curious. Because that censorship board I'm, I'm, I'm is curious, acting. I'm, I'm so curious, obviously, mm, we mm, need to. I'm true. curious to ask because you are a studio engineer, right? Mm. Right. And forgive me if I can yeah, ask I mean, the question. Go ahead. The clean versions, mm -hmm. how is it done? Does the artist have to be raw and then you as an engineer, you, you <laughs> take brother, the... It's very, things. very simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the studio, we have, we have everything in front of us. Okay. So if it's this dress that you're wearing, mm. we have the button here, we have the collar here, we have the thread. So it's not we difficult have the for an artist to get a clean Oh, it's, it's just it's a not, matter it's of... It's just alcohol. They just pee what they want. It's either I put a sound on the alcohol. So when it gets to the alcohol, I can just put like 
a glass sound in on it, mm. okay. or I just can reverse it. I just can, you know, put like a shout there to mm. give it so that flavor. So it's the work of the studio engineer. Yes. No, it's not the work of the studio engineer. It's the work of the artist authorizing the studio engineer ah, to get that done because. Okay. You see, you come and do your project, mm -hmm. right. and this is how you want it. It's not up to me because I'm not a censorship board, but, and but, I don't but, know where you, you're you, taking your. Do you at a point suggest to the yeah, artist yeah, that like, you need this to do is this. too raw? Yeah. I, I need your permission <laughs> to take these things out. Way back, mm -hmm. when the likes of the Zabmalet and all those people mm -hmm. were working in hand with uh, 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 the big bands and all mm -hmm. that. You know what? The big bands went into the studio to pay the producers. You, the artist, yours is to just go and sing the song. Mm -hmm. It's up to the producer and the executive, the, the technical yeah, the producer and the executive producer, producer to come and say that with what we have invested mm -hmm. in, this is not what we want our people to consume. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we will not turn your thing outside down, but what we feel is not right in there, we will have it changed change. because there is a culture backing the whole thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. me as a producer, I am paying to do my job. job. Okay. But I can advise you, oh, Charlie, I think, oh, let it go because the youth loves it. Mm -hmm. Have you even realized that lately, people take... I, w I will say this, Famia is my guy. Mm -hmm. I reach out to him any day. I post him any time. But I saw Famiye take a picture with um, um, DCOP or COP, if, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong with the title, Kofi Wachi. Mm -hmm. yeah. And guess what? Famiye give the middle finger, taking uh. a picture with him. Oh, how? It, that is the post. Mm -hmm. Because you, young chaps we lately, normalized we, 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 <laughs> see, we post anyhow. We post, <laughs> anyhow. We post uh. anyhow. But you see, this is something that even in America, it's, 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 by Biden it, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. You, you yeah. can't just be doing that because <laughs> it sends a strong language and signal about who you are. Mm. So if tomorrow we need somebody to come and advise kids as to how they need to live their life, based on the preference and what you're doing, it will be very difficult because you are contrary to what we want, want you to you preach. To mm. okay. Okay. Now, so sometimes these things go a long way to hurt us, but when we're starting, we feel... This is us. This is our turf. The choice of people we are doing this song for, this is how they behave. So let's tap into them. Mm. You can still tap into them and be reasonable. Mm. Because when big men were hailing a raffle for his choice of words when it comes to music, he was way younger <laughs> than they thought he was. Mm. Okay. So right. I think we can always make that change. Let, let, let's move to how the album is doing after its release. Um, the the reception that the album has received. You have mentioned the, which one did you say is your, um, is your favorite? Oh, Paradise. Oh, Paradise. What do you like about the album? I think that yeah, generally, I like Sheriff because he's going like a different way. Mm -hmm. When he was coming up, you know, he was following the drill beat, but now he's going a different way, a bit of hard life. And when you listen, no, to no, 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 I'm not saying he's doing hard life. The beat. He's not even going there. Yeah, but <laughs> but if if you listen to the album, it's like he's giving you a bit of everything. So the other day, I was. He's not giving you a bit of everything. Let's clarify it right. Black Sheriff's album is not giving us a bit of every. Oh, when you but, say but, a but, bit of but, everything, but, what is a bit of everything? But there is a bit of reggae in it. And then, and then you get. Uh, that's what I'm saying now. The because the old part, DC. A song uh -huh. you hear those are like melodies in it. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. Want yeah. That. yeah. So, so, so th that's what I'm saying. That. So, I like that song. Me as a fan, almost every every song on that album mm. is good for me because aside the. So you're talking as a fan. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Now I understand. Oh, you. I yeah. introduced him as a fan of because, Black. Uh, so <laughs> we hear you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if, if you remember when uh, Omar Sterling releases. Uh, rap album that's the I've forgotten the name. I think this year so far, yeah, that was I think, yeah, March, April, yeah. yeah. So far, is the only Ghanaian album I've listened like this year. I can listen like first to, to the last, last to the last song mm -hmm. on the album. It's, it's, it's that good. And I made reference to the Omar <coughs> Sterling album because for a very long time it has been the only Ghanaian album that even up to date I can listen to like track one to the last one without skipping skipping mm. any song on mm. it. So I think that uh, it's good. It's not your normal danceable mm. song, but 
when you are in your room doing your own things and all that. Oh, Olili, have your expectations been met with the album? Um, expectations? Mm, did I have expectations? That's the question. Mm. Um, because I listened to Second Summer when it came out. I listened to First Summer when it came out. Then I listened to Google the Traveler. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, what's wrong with you, boy? What you doing? Like, <laughs> what are you trying to do? Then I listened to Soldier. I'm like, okay, what's going on? So um, the trend made me feel like, okay, Soldier wasn't a song that he was doing looking for another hit. And mm -hmm. I think I did an article on that. Um, he did Soldier to more or less, you know, be the taste maker for his own album. So then I'm like, okay, when the album comes, I'm just going to have an open mind to receive it. Because he's a new artist. This is his first work. And um, it would be... So what, when, I, when I saw people actually rating the album on first, second listen, I was wondering how people listen to albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't... You, people listen to Lauryn Hill's album to date and they yes, still yeah. like it's, you it's, can't you, just you get it so when I, when, when I when I when I when I see people listen to an album with them I'm like how do you listen to an album mm. but, but there's one <laughs> thing I want to chip in real quick <laughs> that is we have two types of listeners right we have those who know your personality and want to listen to what, what you you're saying. going to say right and we have those who are moved by yeah, what they hear yeah. so if the beat know the beat yeah not <laughs> saying the beat, yeah. and that's how i felt that's, yeah, how, yeah, that's, yeah, how, yeah, yeah. that's how i felt on the first listen and that's why i said in, in fact i i heard and, comments and the, like and, and the crazy part <laughs> is they they start to get into it by the influence of other people, other people. Mm. consistent you know, you know airplay can influence the exactly, exactly. Yeah, and exactly. consistent you know peer pressure yeah. as to how everybody is jamming mm, to yeah. it it goes like Everybody likes and people want to say something. You see, <laughs> because I spend a lot of time. People want to say something. People actually stayed up to 12 a.m. to listen to the album, to be the first to say, Charlie, this album will be, or mm. this album will be. Mm. But I realized the same people, after they had actually taken their time to listen to the album, now they are finding things about the album they didn't find in the beginning. And that is why I hope and pray that the Ghanaian listener will move away from just being a reactionary you know, mm. um, listener, because maybe uh, Obrafo did a hit song, so you expect... Expectation you know, does that to people all the time. You know, and uh, because does if, that. if, if that's not the case, we would actually kill our stars before they become stars. Mm. We would actually kill their projects before they become... Like today, talking about Masterling, right? And his rap album. Someone will listen to Arab and tell you that... Mm -hmm. But arguably, that rap album this year is arguably yeah. the best Ghanaian project this year. Mm. The last one I could think of is um, Kusiata's Live from... Um, um, in Kuma, where when Kusiata dropped another album, now Ghanaians were saying, No, Kusiata, we want that rap album, mm. we don't want this, <coughs> this soft yeah. Kusiata. Do you get it? So, I was looking at Black Sheriff as an artist who is trying to either please the fans or stay true to himself, like Otin said. Mm. And that's one of the most difficult things when it comes to music and show business, especially in this country. Because I take a, a typical example as EO, right? Mm -hmm. When EO came commercially with Kalu and uh, um, um, uh, Obumon and mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. People registered EO as that guy for such songs. When EO decided to be the true artist that he was, he started fading out. People were asking questions. Oh, Charlie, wow. Charlie forgive us, Kalu. But you see, EO will tell you that that is the most difficult thing of being an artist, not just in the country, mm -hmm. but anywhere, because now you've been able to spread your wings. You've given the people what they want. Now you want to do what, what you, you want. want. If you're not careful, you go broke. Ashman, some have <laughs> said um, this should have been an EP and not an album. What do oh. you say to that? But me, that EP and album is <laughs> itself. What do you mean? Extended. Hey, but okay, extended. I I understand. I understand all mm. that. I understand all that. Well. Oh, it's, it's more than five songs. It's yeah. more than it's fourteen. Yeah. It's, it's more than five yeah. songs. So, so it's, it's it goes an, beyond an EP. Okay. So it's it's an album for me. Maybe my only problem with this album being sound. Do you like the theme? I, okay, the sound. I wanted to pick all things. Oh, okay. uh, but I mean, oh, once, once you have some. once you have mentioned <laughs> yeah. it, let me stay on you. The to sound. Honest, to be honest, Black Sheriff's sound. Uh, as Please, when you say mount, are you talking the mastering or the mastering? Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Just and the mastering is all about production. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Higher technical interview. <laughs> <laughs> I sound as a DJ. Yeah. And even with my who first in my room, when I'm playing this album, and even this other Songs. sound, my speakers do they cry for me like at the wow. expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know, Black Sheriff have a big record label now. Mm -hmm. So and that 
record labels who have big artists from other places. Mm. So. But it sometimes you ask yourself, mm. what is the contract? What does it state? Okay, I'm not there, but exactly, so I'm because talking that, like that too can influence I'm, us I'm, to what I'm, you bring. I'm, I'm, I'm talking like a DJ who mm -hmm. I, I, I tune sound. Yeah. yeah, the sound of the album. I think with the stand, hey, DJ, who plays? you play sound. Sorry, you don't choose. <laughs> okay, I tune sometimes on my mixer. No, but you you are playing. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, oh no, no, Jimmy, I give me. Oh, good. Bram, that's his that's his thing. That's his hey, thing. Hey, okay, hey, that's, that's it. I, 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 with sound, I think this album is not for me like that when it comes to sound. Mm. Yeah, because I was expecting that huge sound. I can feel it. Say yo, if hip hop. One thing about hip hop people don't know. It's a sound though. Sound. So drum, no. mm. it's a drum or yeah, you know. Yeah. Hip hop. Even a hard life crash. So let's basically sound. Mm. And you be a, a sound or not. Like in Musa. So with this particular album, my problem with it is the sound. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, Auntie, you have if, done if you may, before okay. you actually before team in, comes in. Mm. He mentioned Oh Paradise being the first song he listened to, right? And that uh, more or less registered mm. his affection and for the fan. album. Yeah. And that's a fan. Yeah. yeah. But for you, as a studio pr producer, as an engineer, why would you put a song like O Paradise in an album? Well, I think um, as a Ghanaian, mm. as a music lover and a producer, that song is beautiful. Why? The element, shout out to Sam Snare. I mean, great production. The element and everything in there, even though it had traces of trap, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but all the the, the 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 sprinkles that was on it was beautiful and it resonates with what we know him for that mm. is the 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 first and the second seven mm -hmm. with the choice the of melodies the, passion, the, the stuff, pitch yeah. the, 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 the the mood and everything yeah. mm. so that piece alone is, is 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 something that resonates with who we know him for mm. who we want to hear him you know in our ears yeah, so so to me that that's about okay. it yeah. with that sound, okay. and and aside that, the other ones are, are on its own. <laughs> that's what I said. That when you even go online, they classify him first as even as an R and B artist mm. before a hip hop, hip -hop artist. artist. It's not because of anything, but it's because most of his sounds are dominated with R and B melodies. Mm. So obviously, you don't mm. expect mm. them to 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 put you anywhere different mm. from what you have been given. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Continue to the sound, touch on the sound. The sound. sound, <laughs> the sound. <laughs> okay, so um, Black has been one very lucky guy. Mm. Sometimes we only think is the song or the beat that blows people. But mm. shout out to Sadiq and his team. Mm. Mm. Quite good, a traveler would never have been bigger if without the performance. Mm. Yeah. As much as videos make songs, videos do kill songs. Mm. So sometimes you might have a great song. And when you feel you don't have to shoot a video for it, my brother, don't. Don't. Mm. Mm. Allow the song to fly. Yeah. Because if you try shooting any visuals, that does yeah, not resonate with how we perceive the song to be. Mm. You're okay. dead. Mm. Now, the same song. When the video came, in fact, it pulled me <laughs> off the song. Oh, you were you, one of those who didn't yes, like the yes, video? Yes, yes, yes. It pulled me off the song. I wrote on my so Facebook page metaphor. when somebody was trying to justify it, and I'm like, listen. We are enjoying what we are enjoying today because of the love we have for okay, Sheriff. Right. Let it stay there. Right. But for this video, don't do, don't prepare a meal <laughs> for me mm -hmm. to eat. And once I buy and I start eating, you start talking, bro. And you and you into the man for anything be bringing gum no. I'm eating now, and you go say, oh, now saying cut your boy then. That's why and cut your nation and him be bringing. Don't. So what are you saying that the explanation behind that the video? they were giving for oh, the video? Okay, it, it, to me it never made sense. So you would have watched the video like the way it was. No, and no, not... no, no. If the video had been the justification for the song, mm -hmm. it would have never been a hit. Okay, okay. The hit was actually like exploded by the performance, that stage and the performance, performance yeah. Yeah. with yeah. the rain. Mm -hmm. That's true. Because that caught up with the trend, mm -hmm. and everybody started everybody, you know yeah, following yeah, yeah, in yeah, Nigeria everywhere. That's true. Everywhere. That's true. So for that video, don't, don't do a song and come and tell me why you have this video. Uh, let's go back to Allow the, sound, me. the sound of the album. We so, wrap up. Black has been very lucky when it comes to 
the, the positioning and the and the choice of people that have fallen in love with him mm. and are constantly trying to maneuver their ways to make sure that every bit and piece of something that he has, mm. you know, gets to the people right. Mm. For the sound, I'm not impressed. One, I'm not impressed. Production wise, I'm still not impressed. Why? We have very good producers on 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 on, on the thing, but you see, most Ghanaian producers, we have a problem, mm. and until we stop, it would never go. They were doing that to Sarkodie, mm. and they've been doing that to everybody. So Sarkodie make a hit with a certain sound, and every producer oh, yeah, yeah, wants yeah. to play along the same sound for him, because I don't want to. I I don't I don't want to be yeah, produce crazy. something else. Yeah. Maybe he might not like. Mm. But there was a point where Sarkodie was tilting himself towards a certain sound, and I felt like, no, I did Warrior Song with him with KK Fosu, mm. and everybody went crazy. Mm. Because we do not know Sack for that thing. As producers, let's challenge these artists. artists. Let's constantly bring out some part of them that they never even expected existed in them. Mm. But for this album, dear producers, you did good. I mean, the 808 and all those, th I mean, great. But it's the lyrics that drives me. Mm. Mm. It's not the beat. Mm. Because me as a producer today, if you give me the opportunity, there are most of the songs that I would, I would remake. really uh, uh, take out some few things and, you know, add a couple of things and remake and make sure that, you know, everybody, every part is having, you know, what, 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 what. As much as it's not only the voices the lyrics that moves people you need to be also concerned about the choice of beat because mm. sometimes somebody will dance with your beat today tomorrow dance with it tomorrow the third day when he's not dancing he will be listening and he'll be consuming the words on that beat mm. so with the beat with the production wise production was good but i felt exactly. the similarities mm. was mm. too much mm. sound wasn't the best well, I think sound. I mean, not to catch you, but if it's a hack, they say you don't fix. Don't you don't fix what's not broken, yeah. right? I look at a case study. A proper case study is Kidi and Kwame Eugene. When Kidi came into the system, his first hits, second hit, third hit, it's, it's like the similarity of the issues were the same. Yeah, the same. Kwame Eugene, mm. the same. To Kwame Eugene said that. Um, oh, I've forgotten the song. Um, is it Angela? There was a song he did after Angela that said it was a part two. Uh, um, I've forgotten the song. Uh, God help me. But I, I don't know if you guys know. You do, I'm sure. Confusion. Confusion. Thank you. Come you said Confusion was a part of Angela. Mm. And it, it sounded the same thing, right? And it made him big. So my question is, at what point does the artist say, okay, you know what? Let me put aside the hack and challenge myself on another beat. Because the people know me to do this kind of music anyways. Okay. You get me? So yeah. do you do that at a point where you are rising like a black sheriff, or you do it when you've gotten when to you've a point of a sack or there where you can try and do other beats or exactly. other production. When you're trying to discover yourself, you don't stay in a single lane. When you're trying to discover yourself, you never you stay in it, you explore. Pizza will be always pizza. <laughs> the, what is the base? Um, the flour. Do. Do, yeah. But what makes it different? is we are all, you know, requesting for different toppings. Mm. Somebody likes bacon, somebody likes, you know, uh, 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 this ham, somebody likes this, somebody like that. And it's the toppings that makes the dough sweet. sweet. Mm. It's the dough there is just dough, mm. dough, dough. But the toppings, the kind of things they put on mm. is what makes it sweet. That's why there are so many of these in town. But you know a particular place that you, 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 you it's the same dough. Why don't mm. you go get it anywhere? Mm. Because they are toppings. Mm. Oh my God, it's something else. So black has something, but you can still have the same trap drums, but your choice of strings, guitars, your melodies, uh, uh, your rhythm and where it's heading towards, the choice of instruments. Mm. Because when I listened to it throughout, I, I was hearing the same thing, 808, almost every song, 808, my God. We have electric bass. We, 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 we have, you know, flat bass. We have so many type of bass. Why is everybody trying to use 808 for everything through our one part, through our, you know, like, it's not challenging for me. Because if we have variety 
and we have a lot that we can choose from. Let's not get stuck at a particular thing without being innovative. Mm. Now, I leave that to the discretion of the artist. You got comfortable and used it because you thought that was your, your, your comfortable zone, zone yeah. or you wanted to also challenge yourself and say, say oh, shall I have this with 808, this with 808. Uh, make we try a different base and see. see. Mm. And I said, no, I hear you, no, go on, no, ma. And Charlie, let's select this, let's select this. And before they realize, you know, nothing, you know, you're eight to eight. Sometimes that too happens. You know, when you've done things in places, things in places, and at a point you feel you need to put them together, we try, yeah, yeah, nothing, you know, but together, no. I also think that then they are also the same thing. I also think that that may be possible if there is pressure from the label to produce. A project, mm -hmm. you know, because with every contract you sell the label, there are timelines, yeah. you know. So, if but then who is his creative manager? Because if I am your creative question. manager, yes. then I'll, it will be very difficult for me to sanction this to move out. Exactly. But if, if you listen to mm -hmm. Black Hole, uh, the songs were there, he had done them. So then this boils down to the what fact that Nini na Google ho in Jenny M come about your couple of names oh Nini you to no we name fan call you know because to be very honest if you really I mean what being I don't think say if you have 20 materials you will want to sew the same style mm. 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 and I say even if you decide to slightly change the style you will have the same color of button mm. no not at you, all you wouldn't you mm. make sure that there are some tweaks and changes here that Anytime you step out in something new, everybody goes like, oh, wow, oh, wow. I like this, or oh, wow, I like that. But if not, and we decide to leave it, mm -hmm. then obviously we're going to have the same trap, the same 808, the same strings, you know. I, I, I just feel like mm -hmm. it's very difficult being different in this country, even with everything, whether as an artist, whether as a designer. It will take a long time for people but to you accept see, Black Hole is beyond the industry. You know why? Does, does he because know he has that backing to flip him out and right. in anyhow. So if he, now, I, I unlike other artists, I believe Blacko was doing a world album and not a Ghanaian album. album. Okay. So if you're doing a world oh, album, I then I think you need to take your time, time and make sure that you give your median album to the world and it will So that is why you would suggest that he would do an EP to test the market or test the waters. I think he had done enough to test the market and the water. We just were two singles. And he, that guy, you see, that guy is versatile. Mm. He's he's not restricted to anything. When he was doing R and B on this album, it was strictly R and B melodies. When he was doing his high life, you know, melodies and all that, it came out very good. Friday mm, yeah, 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 yeah. night, yeah, yeah. so that should even tell you that aspect to mm, you know yeah, still yeah, existed. Yeah, yeah. So True. if you have all this. Then obviously the artist is not the problem. But let's let's wrap up. Uh, <laughs> rate the album one to ten. That's the, I'll take that's, everyone. That's, that's the people's choice. Okay. The people love him. Mm. He is a sensation of the movement. Mm. To the people and the public, I will rate him like ten over ten. Mm. But technically ah. and as a critic, I will give him five over ten. Okay. okay. Ashman. Mm. You know, like I said, uh, it's like the Paimuka album. Mm. I said, now, nah, mm. you know, when it was coming out, people were talking about it. So, me with this album rating, I'll give it like six, six over ten. But when it's sound, mm. the air hmm, will drop, come down past the six. The fan of Black Shave, oh, my. My only issue is the arrangement. Like some of the good, like top songs in it, like after five, like so. So they should have come earlier. Earlier. No, 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 no. How? That's how I. No, no, no. So, like, so, no, no. No, they're fine. No, but no. I'm that. See, if if all sweet now, you go round. Until you can, if yeah, or until you want to three now. There's a possibility so we can say, oh, and you need to re re rearrange the Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that uh -huh. uh, because, you see, when, when you are listening to the album, mm -hmm. you see, after five, after mm -hmm. track five, yeah. Yeah. two, ten, mm -hmm. like, that's where the, uh, the, ginger the, the, ginger the heat so, there uh -huh. is, is different. Okay. Yes, that's why, so I feel like maybe the five to ten, it should have at least been a, a one, like, earlier, but I said, but... So I one over ten. Let's, let's go. I'll still give you ten. 
10 over 10. Or think I am. Ah, no, for, yeah. for, for a filler. <laughs> for, for a feeling filler. <laughs> for me, I'll, I'll, give it, um, I'll give it seven. Um, oh. For me, the strength, the strength for me mm. in the album is the storytelling, which we all know Black to do well with. Yeah. And I think he did well with all the songs he was able to put on the album. If you look at even the song titling, I think it was very strategic. Mm. And I also want to big up the team for introducing more of the English <coughs> you know, side of, yeah, of Black yeah. Hole. Apart from O Paradise, where he was really hard on the tree, on the account. And I think it's a, it's, a, it's a best way to express yourself, you know, in your art. Mm -hmm. so, you want to speak to a man. My, my brother, yeah. let me ask you, what, that thing you people should stop. <laughs> That's what. You're, you're did not you, gonna, did you, you're not going to have that conversation. We won't finish. We won't finish. Did you hear the song? Mm -hmm. Did you hear the song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you understand those words? No, we didn't. It was a worldwide hit. Yeah, but I'm saying that. Which is not a barrier. But when I'm, your song is nice, it will fly. Yeah. Let's talk. We'll come to that. We'll come to that. So, so story. No, we know we finish. So storytelling. I'll give you the same because of the the great storytelling in all the songs. Obviously, production or is here, so he's he's done that. Um, I also want to big up the team or big up the the artists for the arrangement of the songs because, like I always say. If you want to listen to an album and appreciate it, when you listen from one to the last song, put it on shuffle mm. and then let's see how good the album is because then you see how connected the artist was with every single song. And mm. that's why I give the time. Charlie, and I want to say big ups to all the producers on on on, 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 the, on, album. on the album. Yeah. Sam Snare, uh, Brami, Joker Nana. Charlie, yeah. that guy had most of yeah, you know yeah, Joker yeah. Nana. And then Litek and then YG or something. Yeah. And there was J5 on that as well. Great guy. J5 from the UK. J5. Yes. yes. Okay, and then London. Yeah. Producers, I mean, we have a bigger role to play on, 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 on such yeah. things. So, I mean, big ups to them. This is this be money for them. Yeah. <laughs> so, where your team is a sound engineer, music producer. Uh, May for a bra for money, Danny Kamwan. Oh, whatever makes you sense. <laughs> 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 Our was manager, uh, the CEO of Drumline. Uh, DJ Ashman, mm. uh, as the name suggests, he's a DJ. If you want him for your events, you can mm. contact him. DJ uh, Duo Ishan is a journalist and a fan of Black Sheriff. Olele Salvador, entertainment journalist. I, I learned you've moved through or four. Hey, I should move. <laughs> well, your I, blog. Actually, it's more my okay. last day. It's my last day in city, so. Oh, okay. So you've, you've 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 moved. Yes, please. Yeah, I okay. saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Uh, like some Olivier Salvador, Salvador that. is <laughs> heading to three music. Hey. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, because we sit in here. That's it. Yes, right. So, uh, we are not done. Um, last week, I was telling you that Gasmila was uh, having an event at the. Um, what's the name of the place Alliance again? Francais. Alliance Francais. Alliance Francais. That was the Abeli Fest. And definitely, Trust Ghana were to be at all these events. We were there. And um, Doreen Abanima Abaya has everything packaged in Vogue. <laughs> going down. This is the good people displaying their culture here at Alliance Francais at a ballet festival. It all started with corn to hand hunger and to who at hunger. But now it's becoming something beautiful. You are seeing something nice, but there's still gonna be more. I'm Doreen, your host for today, and we are gonna be having fun. Stay tuned.
what he can do. And we know he can do it better than what we know. We have met him. Yeah. Because they are making the, uh, the youth to mobilize. So, whatever they are doing here uh, today, I'm interested. Some, like a warrior outfit. This is what our support or our warriors wear. And I mean, it's been a very first. I also wanted to project what our people are and what we stand for and what our roles are. So if you see me in this, I'm here today as a warrior, you know, to prove that, okay, yeah, I mean, Charlie, we also have some amazing warriors and they've done amazing things and they have amazing stories to be told about them. This is called Nanyana. It cleanses you and it protects you from any outer forces or out, any bad energy, any bad mouth, anything, anything that somebody will say against you will not work when you have this one. So the Nyanyala piece is a piece that I wear or I introduce into my art from like a, a couple of years ago to project my Ghana people and project the energy that we have in my Ghana culture. And today we spoke to a few and a couple of queen mothers and a king. That means this program wasn't a joke. I believe fest was a blast. We're gonna see you next year. I'm your girl and I'm out.
Thanks, Doreen, for that report. And this weekend, Abiana is having a concert, Abiana Live. It's happening at the Zen Gardens. Now, Zen Gardens, if you don't know, it's at um, Laboni. You can just Google and then go and have fun. You know, Abiana is doing a live band. So, we're a live band fan, and for those who will not be able to attend the event, definitely next episode of eForum will come your way with Vogue uh, as we package everything that happened there in seven minutes. Thank you for watching this episode of eForum on Ghana Web TV. My name is Benefo Boabin Abrantipa. Hey.